The music scene has also improved in the last few years. Under the Taliban, Afghanistan was dubbed a silent country. Today it's a much more colorful place. The TV channels show plenty of music and entertainment programs, which attract a large audience. In the last few years, international program formats have found their way on Afghan television and people can now enjoy popular shows such as Who Wants to be a Millionaire every week on domestic channels. Afghanistan now has its first rock band in three decades. Even though they were all born in Afghanistan, the band only sing in English, as they say they want to convey a message of peace to the outside world. I meet the band members and I speak to Suleiman Kardosh, the lead singer, who is also the youngest at 18 years old. Maktab musiqi ra da sal 2006 khalas kara bodam Uzbekistan. Um dige fikr mekunam taqriban az salay 2004 2005 yakamak jiddi tar da yi chiz kar kardam yani mesela avval yakamak کورس ها می رفتیم کورس موسیقی فقط عادی بود یعنی پالو مکتب باید از یک کمک فکر کردم که خودم دایی پیدا کردم یعنی می خواستم کمی رشتر پیش ببرم گروه کابل دریمز چی وقت ایجاد شد و در واقع هدف اصلیش چی بود؟ گروه کابل دریمز ما در 2008 ماه دسمبر بود تقریبا در اون وقت گروه ای, ای گروه رو تشکیل کردیم یک روز شیش نیم فقط جمع کردیم اما ما گیتار ما آوردم و بعض موسیقی که خودم در کلیه بود و خودم هم ساخته بودم اونا را با اونا کار کردیم و چیز بد نبود یعنی خوش ما آمد مثلا خوش اونا آمد بچه ها گفتن که آلا موسیقی بد نیست یک امی صدای خوب بود و گفتن که آلا چرا یک گروه جور نکنیم چون من خودم در امی فکر بودم میخواستم یک گروه جور کنم و خود بچه هم در امی فکر بودن که میخواستم یک گروه جور کنن و باز از می وقت شروع کردیم و حساس گروه را تشکیل دیم خود گوینده خبرم هستی در یکی از رسانه های شخصی افغانستان چطوری دو کار با هم پیش می بریم؟ بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم آریانا تلویزیونگ ایت کورش شده را سلام علیکم هم تو را دی؟ یعنی روز می خبر می خوانم و شب هم روان داریم و خبر می خوانیم یعنی در این عرصه هم خودم یک دفعه کوش کردم که خودم نشان بودم ولی نمیفهمم دیگه قضاوت از مردم است که خوب میگم یا مثلا خبر چه قسمی میگم دیگه سلیمان جان در مورد اولین آلبومتون بود که قرار است منتشر شوه یعنی این آلبومتون فکر میکنی که چقدر فروش خود داشت و مردم چقدر را میپسندن ی آلبوم ی آلبوم ای پی آلبوم است اکسند پلی در داخلش پنج دانه آهنگ های ما هست و به نام I Wanna Run Away ما میخواییم فرار کنیم یا ما میخواییم مگه ما نمیخواییم فرار کنیم فقط یک آهنگ است چون دیگه هیچ چیز نیست توقع زیاد داریم یعنی از این آهنگ سر ای آلبون زیاد حساب میکنیم یعنی چون ما بسیار زیاد تلاش کنیم ثبت اینجا کنیم در سودی وایس مایستر ما ثبت کنیم و امراه بچه ها خود ما همین سه نفر کل ما سب کنیم لایف برای میکس آلبوم ما میکس ما سرینگ همین آلبوم ما رفت ما دوکستان چون قرار بود که اول کل گروه بره و از این مشکلات ها بود مشکلات ویزا و ترانسپورت و مادی یعنی ما کار کردیم تلاش آخر ما رو کردیم یعنی توقع زیاد داریم یعنی And it's not just the men who are in the music business. Women have also defied tradition and are making a living in the entertainment industry.
Farida Tarana is both a politician and a singer. ما تقریبا چهار و نیم سال پیش ما به صورت علنی یک آوازه خوانده بودم و با او شدت برخوردهایی که برخورد کرده بودم و دیده بودم مثبت و منفی در این دوره که این فقط چهار سال میگذره بسیار راحت تر هستن مردم و این شیوه کار هر نظام و هر, هر, هر مملکت است که یک چیز نو در اول با بسیار برخوردهای شدید است ما با یک دموکراسی نوپای هستیم در افغانستان که همه چیز فقط در حالت شعار هست هنوز هم اما ای بودن خانم در اجتماع و به قول آمیانه ای, ای, ای سماجت خود خانم هاست که اونا رو نقششه پر رنگ کدن خواهیم که ای را ثابت بکنم که یک دختر افغان با او تحقیر هایی که در زمان طالبان می شد که حتی حق درس خواندن نداشت با حفظ تمام کرامت ها و تمام او حواس دخترانگیش می تونه واقعا یک آدم موفق در اجتماع خودش باشه و بالخصوص به جهانیان که با یک دید دیگه بر افغانستان می دیدن و من هنر سیاست از هم دور نمی بینم بسیار نزدیک است و تا امروز بسیار موفق بودیم در جامعه که تا دیروز یک دختر حق نداشت آواز خدا بکشه امروز نه تنها که آهنگ خواند اما درس سیاست هم پشتیبان زیادی داشت که در شورای ولایتی من خوشبختان دومین آرای بلند در سطح کابل داشت بزرگترین آرزویتان برای کابل چیست؟ آرزوی میست که در کنار هم خوب و آزاد و همیشه سر بلند باشن و بالخصوص افغانستان من میخوایم یک افغانستان باشه مطرح در دنیا نه به خاطر جنگ به خاطر دستاوردهایی که در هر سخص داشته باشه فریدا's wish is still some way off for although the main fighting is many miles away from Kabul the city looks and feels like a war zone take this building for example from the outside it looks like a security barracks but inside it is a different story most afghans are prohibited from entering these buildings unless they hold a european or american passport this is because of security issues Kabul Health Club is one of the luxurious clubs in Kabul city where foreigners and few afghans come to enjoy However, in Kabul, there could be thousands of families who cannot afford these places. Salam. 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 How are you? Salam. 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 فرسی فرسی اینجا یک علاشگاه دارم اصلاح ما مردانه و زنانه سپا تریتمنت هر تریتمنت وی هفا ارسو مساج اتاق مساج اتاق فیشل است اصلاح مو مردانه چند میگیرین مثلا بن صد افغانی بن صد افغانی که میشه دلار بله آها از خانم ها چقدر از خانم ها تقریبا 30 دلار یک هز... یک و نیم هزار افغان فکر میکنی که اقتصاد مردم افغانستان به او حد است که او بتونن میتونن بله میتونن به خاطر که من مراعاتا با امرای مردم افغانستان امو قیمت میگرم اگر میری هتل لبان ستارا زیاد میگرم شما خودتون از کجا هستین اصلا من از فلسطین هستم از فلسطین هستین و اینجا و در افغانستان کار میکنین اینجا کار میکنم Kabul evenings have also changed. Only a few years ago, this city didn't have any electricity at all. But all of that has now changed. Especially here, this place is full of lights. And some people even call it the Las Vegas of Kabul. Today is a happy day. It is my cousin's wedding, and I'm his best man. But having an extravagant wedding party is far too expensive for most Afghans. You have to invite hundreds of people like this, and paying for the dowry is another large expense. <laughs>
مسئولیت آینده به دوش شما است که کدام گپ سخن شد درست است نک به نکاشان اگر خانم اجاده است Traditionally, every groom has to have three parties like this. Each one can cost more than $10,000. Unfortunately, we can't film the women's party. Only very close male relatives are allowed in. Over the last few years, I have returned to Kabul regularly, and every time I come back, I have seen improvements. But what people need most now is security, which is much more important to them than food or welfare. And will they eventually enjoy Kabul? Everyone is hopeful, and so am I. Tahir is with me now. Tahir, welcome. Now, well, let's start there. That looked like hard work. It, yeah, it did. <laughs> it was so hard. Um, this is your home city. Mm -hmm. How do you see it represented on the news channels? Mm -hmm. What do you recognise about your home city from the news? Uh, well, I have been I have been working with media for quite a long a long time now. When I was only a kid, and then you know, every time I was just watching Afghanistan on news channels, I was not really happy with the pictures they show because they just associate the name of Afghanistan with poverty, with fighting, with street children, and then, you know, with, with people, you know, wearing turbans on the streets. However, the real picture of Afghanistan is not like that. So therefore, I, I always just wanted to do something different, to show a, a, a different picture. I mean, I, I don't want to really exaggerate, no. but just show the, the ordinary life of people. Well, give me an example. Give me an example of something you saw in Kabul that I won't get from watching the news Well, channel. the whole film, actually. For example, I hang out with my friends. He goes to tennis club. He, for example, takes me to some shopping malls where just they get the, 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 the new brands, like, you know, you know, like Zara or whatever. So, which is really, I mean, you can't believe that people might get You're right. I would never see that on the news channels. But is he representative, your friend? Is he a privileged, middle-class, unusual friend? Well, not, not really. I mean, I haven't picked up unusual people in this film. Just I have gone on the streets and I have chosen the people who are actually living their, you know, their, their normal lives. So he's not really unusual. I mean, you could say your film presents a positive view. Does that represent a mood that you've, you've sensed in Kabul? I would suggest that the, their mood of the city must be very troubled. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, a country that has, you know, uh, encountered war for at least three decades, you know, a country which has been completely destroyed. So whatever, any movement now is really positive. So what I have done in my film, I have just gone through the ordinary life of people. I have just, you know, hanged around with people and I have just, you know, gone to their houses to see how they live. So therefore, I, I would believe that, you know, the, this, the picture that I have shown in this film does represent today's Kabul's face, really. Certainly one side of it. And what about your biggest surprise? You've been living in the UK three years only. Here you are back to make a film. What was something that took you by surprise? What really surprised me is that we always hear that people are really nervous about things, but when you get into people, they're quite happy. They are just having completely the same life as we do here in England. Security? Did you have well, any problems? Security-wise, I mean, Insecurity is miles and miles away from Kabul. That's mainly in the south. But we did, did you know, face some problems, like you know, our camera was once, you know, uh, uh, confiscated because they thought that, you know, because the camera was with our driver and they thought that uh, it might have explosives inside. But no, it was sorted out, so we didn't have any more problems really. And did you do you want to move back there, having been there? Would you like to go back? Well, of course I do. Yeah, I mean, I love to go and live there and m do more films. I'm planning to do another film soon. Hopefully, just, you know, I want to show, I don't want to show really a colorful picture, an exaggerating picture to the outside world, but just I want to show how people live there. They have lots of problems, I know. There is poverty, people are struggling to work, uh, there is unemployment. But on the other side of the, 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 the wall, the people are living, they are living, living really peace, peacefully.
Tahir, thank you very much indeed. Thank you so much.